In this video, we are going to discuss DDA line generation algorithm example. So let us solve one problem for your better understanding. So here is the problem for us and it has been asked to draw one straight line from 0, 0 to 4, 5. So 0, 0 is the starting coordinate and 4, 5 is the ending coordinate. So in between, we are supposed to draw one line. So at first, it is our common practice to calculate the slope which we discussed in our previous video also. So that is dy by dx. So that is yk plus 1 minus yk whole by xk plus 1 minus xk. So here we are having 5 minus 0 and 4 minus 0. So here we are taking this one 5 minus 0 by 4 minus 0. So we are uh, having the value 5 by 4 that is 1.25 and which is greater than 1. So it is greater than 1 means this value is greater than this value. So that's why the fraction has got the value more than 1. So the slope is greater than 1. So as m is greater than 1, m is the slope, then y moves in the unit interval and x moves with the value that is xk plus 1 by m. So xk plus 1 by m. So that is the respective increment in x and y will be incremented by 1 only. So, so the next point is, so xk plus 1 comma yk plus 1 will be xk plus 1 by m comma yk plus 1. So in this way, the next values are going to get calculated. So now what is m? m is 5 by 4. And what is 1 by m? That is 4 by 5. And what is the value? That is 0 0.8. So from here, we got this idea that y will be increased by 1. So it will be ranging from 0 to 5. So that's why you see it has got, it is ranging from 0 to 5 and each and every time it has got increased by 1 and this increment for x will be 1 by m and that is 0 0.8 and it will be starting from 0. So 0 0.8 plus 0 0.8, 1.6 plus 0.8, 2.4 plus 0 0.8, 3.2 plus 0 0.8, 4. So in this way we are getting this and we have reached to the point that is 5, 4, 5. So that is our ending points. But here you see these fractions cannot be plotted. These fractions cannot be plotted. So here we are applying seal or floor functions. Also we could have applied round functions and then this, this y values will remain as it is. So y plot will remain as it is. But for this x values, it has got, it has got the nearest integer. So seal of this 0 0.8 will give me 1. Seal of this 0 0.6 will give me 2. Next floor of this 2.4. So 2.4 floor will be 3. And floor of uh, 2.4 will be 3. I think 2.4 will be 2 rather. And then floor of 3.2. So floor of 3.2 will be here respective 3. So in this way you are getting this. So what is seal? Seal is the smallest integer larger than this value. So in that case of seal. What is floor? Floor is the largest integer smaller than this value. So it will be converted to 2. It will be converted to 3. It will be converted to 2. It will be converted to respective 2 there, it will be converted to 1 because we applied seal here, we applied floor, floor here. So in this way, these are the points which are to be plotted. So C here, 0, 0, so 0, 0 this point and then 1, 1, 1, 1 means this point and then 2, 2, so 2, 2 means this point and then 2, 3, so 2, 3 means this point, so 2, 3 means this point again and then we are having 3, 4, so 3, 4 means this point and the last point is our 4, 5, so 4, 5 means this point. So in this way, the line will be drawn on the computer screen. So here you have discussed that how DDA algorithm works with one given problem. Thanks for watching this video.